Who's the best offensive player in NBA history? You might be thinking someone like Michael Jordan, maybe someone LeBron James, maybe even you're thinking really recent and you're thinking, I don't know, Jokic's crazy season. But what if I told you that the answer is more obvious than what you think? And it's a guy that barely dunked the entire season. In fact, he was just so good that he didn't even need twos. I am of course talking about 2016 Steph Curry. He was a human torch in that season and what he did is just completely unheard of. He easily had the best offensive season of all time. We can see that by the fact that he was unanimous MVP and I'm going to break down what led to this crazy season. Let's get right into it. So a bit of an overview, it's definitely the greatest scoring season ever. He averaged 30 points per game on 50, 45, 90 shooting. He also averaged 34 points per 75 possessions and had a plus 13 real true shooting percentage, which is basically unheard of. In fact, only one other player in NBA history has ever done that. And that's actually Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Next, we have that he was on the 93rd percentile for passing and 94th percentile for driving, which is crazy high. And that's all time, by the way. It's not just it's not just that one season. He was 93rd in passing and 94th in shooting all time. Then you also have him just being the greatest ever at every single aspect of shooting. He could hit it from deep, he can hit it from mid-range, and he could hit it from close. Not to mention he led a top 3 offense ever with a defensively slanted team. I mean, before KD came to the Warriors, they weren't an offensive juggernaut. They were obviously good, but that was only because of Steph, the greatest offensive player ever. Next, we're going to look at a more underrated aspect of Steph's game, and that's his ball handling and elite passing. Even though it's not his biggest part of his game, Steph's rim pressure which is basically how he creates around the rim, how he can drive to the rim, hit crazy finishes, along with quick decision making, pinpoint passing, and transition decisions, make him vital to the Warriors offense and really show how good he was. Now switching to a better well-known part of Steph's game, you have off-ball shooting and abilities. Along with his shooting off the catch, Steph is a historic guard screener and his gravity makes screens so much valuable. Steph shot 47% on catch and shoot threes that season, highest of all time. But the real thing that elevated the Warriors offense to a different level and Steph's offensive creation is, well, his creation. He's a walking double team in the pick and roll and he creates constant 4 on 3 to 2 on 1 advantages. He also provided elite rim pressure and his threat opened up threes and dunks because when you have someone like Steph Curry on the court, you have to guard him. You have to even double him, which will always leave one guy open. But my personal favorite part of Steph's game, his touch at the rim. I mean, he doesn't dunk, but his layup package is so smooth and his tremendous ability to finish through contact with either hand is just absolutely crazy. He also has one of the best floaters that we've ever seen. That season, Steph was in the 94th percentile for drive efficiency. It was a perfect counter to threes if people were defending him. Now, arguably Steph's most effective weapon is his ability to score against dropping slash standard defensive coverages. Back in 2016, drop coverage was the exclusive defensive style, meaning the only one, and Steph torched the drop coverage better than we've ever seen a player before expose a defensive standard. He was an absolute game changer. I mean, with a few screens, he could very easily be wide open and hit some threes, which is absolutely crazy considering that every single team had the same strategy and no one was able to adapt to him. That's the level he was on. Now, the most well-known and flashy part of Steph's game is his ridiculous range and tough shot making. The quickest release just about ever was his that season, and he slowed it down since because of the meta of the NBA, but 
I mean, his range, it's only gone up and up. And that season, he was hitting shots from half court. He even hit the third longest shot in NBA history. And his elite handle creates some of the greatest highlights we have ever seen. We've never seen this type of shot making before or since. And in conclusion, he just had the greatest range, release, catch and shoot, off the dribble, and off ball movement ever. Combine that with generational handles and finishing ability, and a very underrated vision to pair with shooting, makes by far the best offensive display we've ever seen in a regular season. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.